Snakes are some of the most fascinating creatures in the animal kingdom, and their venomous species have developed an incredible evolutionary advantage and venom. But how exactly is this potent toxin formed and delivered through a snake's fangs? Venom production begins in specialized glands located behind the eyes of venomous snakes. These glands, known as venom glands, are modified salivary glands. Inside these glands, cells produce a complex mixture of proteins and enzymes that form the venom. The composition of venom varies among species, but it generally contains neurotoxins, hematoxins, or cytotoxins, each with different effects. Once venom is produced, it is stored in the venom glands until the snake is ready to strike. When the snake bites, muscles around the glands contract, pushing the venom through ducts connected to the fangs. The fangs, which are hollow or grooved in venomous species, act as injection needles, delivering venom deep into the prey's body. There are three main types of venomous fangs, one. Rear-fanged epistoglyphus found in snakes like bombslongs, these fangs are located at the back of the mouth, requiring the snake to chew venom into its prey. Two. Front-fanged proteroglyphus found in cobras and mambas, these fangs are fixed and inject venom quickly. Three. Hinged fangs, solenoglyphus found in vipers, these long, retractable fangs fold back when not in use and extend forward when striking. Venom plays a crucial role in a snake's survival, helping it immobilize or digest prey. Some snake venoms also have medical applications, with scientists using their compounds to develop medicines for blood pressure, pain relief, and even clotting disorders. While venomous snakes are often feared, their venom is a remarkable adaptation that showcases the power of evolution. Understanding how venom is formed and delivered not only helps in medical research, but also fosters a greater appreciation for these incredible reptiles.